I am Anil Kumar and now we will take a few challenge questions on solving exponential equations. We need to solve 32 to the power of x square plus x equals to 1 over 8 to the power of 1 minus x square where x belongs to set of real numbers. Now how to solve such equations? Well the strategy is to get the same base on both the sides. Now we know that 2 to the power of 3 is 8 right 2 to the power of 3 is 8 and 2 to the power of 5 is 32 right so 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 8 times 2 is 16 then times 2 is 32 so 2 to the power of 5 is 32 so we could actually write them with the base of 2 and then equate the exponents to find the solution so that is the strategy for solving such questions you can actually now pause the video solve the question and then look into my solution. So let's begin by writing 32 as 2 to the power of 5. So on the left side I get 2 to the power of 5 and already I have there x square plus x. On the right side I'll write 1 over 8. Since it is 1 over 8 I'll write this as 2 to the power of minus 3 right. 2 to the power of minus 3 will be 1 over 8 correct. So 1 over 8, I will write this as 2 to the power of minus 3 and that to the power of 1 minus x square. So we are using the laws of exponents to solve these equations, right? Now, you can use the product rule here. So it, you get 2 to the power of 5 times x square plus x on the left side and on the right side you get 2 to the power of minus 3 times 1 minus x square. So that is how you get left and right side of this equation. Now since we have the same base for this equation to be true their exponents should also be same. So, so we have 5 times x square plus x is equals to minus 3 times 1 minus x square. So we get a quadratic equation to solve. Let us now solve this quadratic equation. Expand. So we get 5x square plus 5x equals to minus 3 minus minus becomes plus 3x square. Bring all the terms together. So we have 5x square minus 3x square and then we have plus 5x plus 3 equals to 0, right? So combining these terms, we get 2x square plus 5x plus 3 equals to 0. So let us solve this equation on the right side. Okay. So we have a quadratic equation to solve, which is 2x square plus 5x plus 3 equals to 0. You can use quadratic formula to solve this. You could also use your factoring techniques. 2 times 3 is 6, so we need product of two numbers to be 6 and sum as 5. So we could write this as 2x square plus 3x plus 2x plus 3. So writing 5x as 3x plus 2 can help us factor this. Amongst first two, x is common. So we have 2x plus 3. And here 1 is common. We could factor 2x plus 3. 2x plus 3 is a common factor, so we have 2x plus 3 times x plus 1 equals to 0. For this quadratic equation to be true, x could be equals to minus 3 over 2, that will give us a 0 here, or x equals to minus 1, that will give us 0 on the other side. So these are two solutions for x, right? So that is how you can actually solve such equation, right? I hope you understand this step. What we really did was we equated 2x plus 3 to 0 and solved for x. So 2x equals to minus 3, x equals to minus 3 over 2. Similarly, we did with x plus 1, x plus 1 equals to 0, x equals to minus 1. So you get two solutions, correct? Now we can write both these solutions as part of our answer. We say our answer is x equals to minus 1 or minus 1.5 or 3 over 2, I mean 3 over 2, right? So these are the two solutions for the given equation. Now as for your practice is concerned, what you can do is you can verify these answers and check if these are really true. So substitute x as minus 1 
check if it is true and then 1.5 over minus 3 over 2 and check do you get left side equals to right side. I hope that works. Thank you and all the best.